guys, I'm out here at my listing in Drum Farm Villas and in Independence at 15904 East 29th Street Court. And this house is a four bedroom, three bath with a fifth non-conforming slash hobby closet downstairs. It is a reverse walkout with a two car garage with a side entry. So this house is absolutely gorgeous. It's in a very desirable neighborhood. We've had a lot of interest in it already and it hasn't even gone live yet. So I wanna take you in and show you why this house is so amazing and all of the upgrades that the current owners have put in it. So come on. So here I am in the entryway of the house. Right when you walk in, you walk into this beautiful living room with floor to ceiling windows with the plantation shutters, their grand fireplace over there that you'll get to see in just a second. And it's very open to the kitchen right over here and then the dining room slash hearth room over there. It's just a big wide open space, very tall ceilings, open to the staircase downstairs, easy access to the bedrooms up here. So let's go take a look at the rest. So here we are in the newly remodeled kitchen. So this kitchen is all white. There's so much natural light coming in through the windows and all the other windows around this house that you'll get to see. And there's matching stainless steel appliances with a wall oven and a built-in microwave. You have tons of cabinet space and those big drawers underneath the cooktop that are so nice for all those pots and pans. There's a pantry back where the laundry room is that I'll get to show you here in just a second. But this kitchen's just absolutely gorgeous and it's so light and just so bright, perfect for entertaining. There's a big peninsula right here that can fit four to five bar stools um, for those family get togethers. So it's just an amazing kitchen that's ready for its new owner. So here I am in another angle of this hearth room just so you can kind of see how amazing this view is. Um, this was the original fireplace that was put in. It's a gas fireplace and then this grand fireplace that they just put in a few months ago is actually electric. You can turn both of these on with just a flip of a switch and it's like I said a huge wide open space connected with the kitchen, dining room, uh, like a walk by area here. Um, it, they've just really done a lot with this space and it's absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to show you two of the coolest features of this house. One is these windows here in this front living room that has the floor to ceiling windows. These plantation shutters open to a big picture window. There's no squares and, and things in it. It's just a big open window and all three of them are like that. So when you open them all up, the sight is just amazing. I'll take a picture for you guys and put it in here, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And then this fireplace, like I said, electric fireplace it goes floor to ceiling i want to say these ceilings are probably 14 14 to 16 foot ceilings they're absolutely massive so this fireplace is like a huge focal point in this room that everyone just walks in and goes wow <laughs> So here I am in the primary bedroom. This bedroom is huge. The bed that's in here is actually a king size bed. It's got a beautiful bay window over there with those plantain shutters throughout. Those plantain shutters they installed not too long ago. They spent a total of $40,000 on those plantain shutters. They put almost $100,000 or probably more in this house in the last few years. So there's just so much to feature about this house. I'm gonna try to fit it all in. But this primary bedroom is huge and it opens up into double doors into the master bathroom suite um, with a walk-in shower and a jetted tub and two walk-in closets so i'll get to show you that in just a second but this room again has a lot of windows that are bringing in so much light that you don't even really have to turn on your lights so it's just gorgeous So this is the 
second bedroom that is on the main level. It's a very large bedroom. It has super high ceilings and it actually connects to the second walk-in closet off the master bedroom slash bathroom. So if somebody needed to use that closet for this room, they could, or they could just leave it for the master bedroom. It's totally up to you. But this has a window that, fr that faces the front of the house. So it also, as you can see, brings in a lot of natural light. It's super bright in here. My voice is probably echoing throughout this room because it has super high ceilings and those wood floors again. So it's a great bedroom. So this is actually the last room that I'm actually going to walk you guys through, but this is the basement living area. This room is, I want to say, probably 25 by 25 foot. It's a huge, big space, really beautiful gray carpet. Uh, there's a storage room right off of it that you honestly could finish probably another three or four hundred square feet and add on to the value of this house if you wanted to. There's a sump pump installed, new HVAC, there's a new roof on this house as well so there's a lot of bonuses there but this downstairs living room opens up to the patio downstairs so you can either you know entertain people up on the deck above or do the patio below or both. There's also two other bedrooms down here with kind of a hobby closet, maybe fifth non-conforming if you wanted to, um, bedroom down here as well. So you'll get to see all of those in the virtual walkthrough. So I'll be adding those in here as well. Look out for those. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this house. I'm gonna take you out on the back deck really fast just to show you what that looks like. Mm -hmm.